developed a platform that is online where you can remotely control uh, light stimuli that are applied to uh, single cell organisms that swim around in a chamber. And uh, when you as a user uh, push a button and the light comes on, then you see how these cells swim away from light. This project is one of the first that offers um, a kind of integrated solution for the entire cycle of scientific investigations. So this is the heart of the system, which is eventually controlled by a bunch of software. Moving my joystick, it's also illuminating those LEDs in real time. So this is kind of interesting because the organism actually itself is photosynthetic, meaning they live on light. But if you shine way too much on them, they actually swim away from the light. I really think tool shape the way we think. And um, I think that science education requires tools that allow you to engage with ideas because science is about ideas in the end. And so we did multiple user studies. One case I had uh, Stanford students uh, in a theory class uh, run experiments on, on this platform, analyze their data, make models. We had a second study where we went uh, to a local uh, middle school and had students uh, run their own experiments and, and analyze the data. And in a third study, we collaborated with another professor in the Chicago area and had a school there basically analyzed how the kids were doing, what did they like, what could be improved in the future. In a way, what we're doing is uh, giving kids a kind of read-write uh, interaction of science. So it, it's not just something you consume, but it's something you can do. We also implemented something that you can pre-program your whole um, stimulus sequence and run controlled experiments and run many of them and then uh, analyze the data. But beyond that, we also hope to ultimately serve scientists as well. And one of the next projects we want to do is, is work together with uh, other physicists, for example, to do their own research um, on our platform.